So we're up and trying to get going here. So hopefully we are going. David was behind the scenes working on that. Don't know what happened when those glitches were going live, but I think we've got it worked out. All right. Okay. Well, welcome, David. Say hello. hello. I'm back from the control room. <laughs> it's a long way up there. Hey, it's, on the, it's on the fifth floor. We call it Art Stream Live for a reason, and it is. So, okay. I was waiting on the elevator. All right. Well, we've got, I think we're up and running, so we're going to go to some of our artwork. So, Boudreau, would you show some of our art, please? Now, this is one of my watercolors I've done recently. This is a nine and a half by 11 inch, 11 inch image, if I can talk, on acid-free watercolor paper. And it's, uh, I've been doing some little watercolor studies lately. This is available for sale. It's $225. And the fun thing about this, just for people that might like to know about the medium, this is a watercolor incorporating various uh, watercolor techniques. I've got what's called a salt glaze. I've got your gradient washes, uh, brush drawing. We actually draw with the brush. And uh, I've got what they Thank call... You, I can't hold this for us. Yeah, and uh, I've got uh, what they call uh, opaque color in there. So it's a little different, a little bit of fun. So that's available for sale. And across the top of the screen you'll see scrolling information if you'd like to get in touch with us. you got numbers you can call. You can always reach us at Artstream Live, you know, at gmail.com. So we try to make it easy for you to find us. Show the next one if you would, please, Boudreaux. Oops, get one. Okay, that's actually my painting. Uh, you can see the title's 83011. It's oil on canvas, 22 by 28 inches wide. It will be framed and has a price of $800. That was a recent painting just done this past month. Uh, okay, next one, we grow. That's Charles. Okay, that's one of my uh, cover jars that probably was done, I don't see the uh, the date on it, but it's probably was done last year. So what you got is a design cover jar with a satin matte glaze and the uh, lid is a black slip. Uh, so that's uh, one that's for sale. So you see the, uh, I think the price is 110 on that. And then like I said, uh, if you need to reach us, you've got phone numbers scrolling across the top. You can email us at artstreamlive at gmail.com. Or use the chat screen yeah. to the right of your, your uh, viewing screen. So, and uh, we're at artstreamlive.com, our website. We've got our Facebook page. So any way you want to reach us, you can reach us. Uh, now. We're going to dig back into our treasure vault of art techniques. I've got uh, a video coming up that's going to share how they do what's called an indirect photo stencil in the silk screen. So watch this. I think you will enjoy it. Go ahead, Boudreau, roll the video. In this video from Art Stream Live about the indirect photo silk screen technique, there will be some important details you'll want to pay attention to. In fact, I'm going to have some help during the video with our official Art Stream Live mascot, Big Buck. So whenever you see Big Buck or hear him, that's going to be an important detail. In fact, that's called the Big Buck ID moment. So you want to pay special attention then. Thanks.
Hey, make sure you pay close attention to this part of the video. I'm getting ready to list some supplies you'll need to do the indirect photo substring stencil. So you'll need to have these on hand in order to do what I'm getting ready to show you. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks.
Yeah, the blue polyphoto silkscreen film is very uh, sensitive to the wavelengths of light produced by a carbon art light bulb, but that light bulb is more expensive. Now I have used the fluorescent lights and the black light spectrum works very well also. But the nice thing, the greatest carbon arc light in the world is the sun. So what I'm going to show you how to do is on a good sunny day, you can expose blue polyfilm in no time. And that's the best light of all. It's free. As long as you got a good day, a sunny day, you got a light source. So watch how I do it on this part. Welcome to the internet, your gateway to adventure. Wow. Can't wait. I think that this is your way of telling me something. OK. 
can't believe I let you talk me into this. Feels really powerful. Hot stuff, throw it up. Nice work. I'm in trouble. Well, I'll tell you what I think. Wow. Nice work. Just about done, honey. That'd be fantastic. Wow. Ooh, I like that. Okay, everybody, as you've seen, we're going to do a little talking about the arts and the social media out there. And with everything in the world today, you've got your Facebook. David's got a list here of mentioning, you know, we've got ways to find art. I know in the museum world where I work, we use Facebook a lot of times to do research on artists. We can get biographical information. You may not know where an artist is. You find them on Facebook. Get in contact with them. Keep track of the latest trends with galleries, other museums. I mean, right. so it's really being used a lot by institutions in art. Uh, I know Charles is using it right now to uh, show people this pottery. You've had some success with that, haven't you? Well, yes. I mean, it's got to the point that uh from the old days when we just had to do some slides and uh, submit that artwork to different shows, but now you can bypass all that if you want to just do it one on one. And it's the same thing with the galleries. Instead of going directly to the galleries, you can actually promote your set. So this way you could get the uh, that one on one with the clients, uh, because now we, the way it's going, a lot of galleries are, are even doing that. They, so if you take the gallery out and the artist can promote themselves, so you could pretty well be able to have the 100% makeup and markup versus cutting a gallery in. Because if the, uh, the information now that we getting through the social network is so easy compared to several years ago that uh, the streaming is, is much better, uh, the software is much better in that you could just go in and uh, download information in less than uh, two or three minutes. Right. And, and, and the information's immediate. I mean, you can finish a pot. As soon as you take it out of the kiln, you can have it on Facebook or the internet in, in 30 minutes. Right. So even if you have a client yeah. that's interested in the same piece, you could do one-on-one -on -one mm -hmm. right there. Versus uh, when we first started, you had to mail it, mm -hmm. shoot the pot, mm -hmm. go get the film developed, uh, and all that rigmarole, which is then when you get the film developed, you find out that half of it is, yeah. is, 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 is blank. No, I've seen David even do it before the piece is done. I mean, you folks that, that watch our stream live, I mean, David's had videos, actually the pain in progress, brush stroke by brush stroke, piece not even done. People are actually be able to be a part of almost the creation process, watching the art be created. And the good thing, too, I've enjoyed about it with the uh, ability to just keep up, like you're talking about, uh, events, openings. I mean, I've seen on Facebook, I mean, even in our area, there are local groups that artists you can join in and become a part of a group on Facebook and, uh, you know, find out what's going on, see what the other artists are doing. Uh, with Twitter, you can communicate instantly, find out what's going on everywhere. I mean, it's, uh, it's opened up a whole new world of interaction. Well, there's a lot of artists and other people, I mean, patrons, who, you know, might be interested in our art. Uh, a lot of people in general don't think, you know, well, Facebook's a waste of time, or uh, um, any of the others like like uh, Google Plus or Twitter. But the statistics are that uh, the average for online time on Facebook is 30 hours a week or Ooh. a month. 30 month, hours per okay. month. That's an average. True. Uh, and uh, 200 million of those people are accessing. Facebook or Twitter or other uh, social media through their phones or other mobile mm -hmm. uh, devices throughout the day. So they may not only, you know, be on for uh, five minutes at a time, but they they're doing that several times a day. So it's almost like a like a news service to them. Uh, Facebook has over 600 million users now. Google Plus, which is relatively new, it's only been out for a couple of months now. 
is already up to 200 million uh, users. Twitter has just over 200 million. What were some of the other uh, social networks you had listed there? Because there's more oh, than you'd imagine. I, I didn't know there uh, this, were that this many is, of them. Uh, these aren't just social networks. I mean, social media includes everything from uh, social networking like uh, MySpace and Facebook mm -hmm. and uh, uh, text type uh, things like Twitter. But it also includes blogs. It also includes uh, mm -hmm. uh, photo blogs. It includes uh, photo um, albums like uh, Picasso, uh, Flickr, which you can actually put and people share social type all the of time, things there. Right? People can, can actually put responses to it. So it's, it's almost become another uh, type of uh, uh, thing like Facebook on those. But this is just a short list. I mean, oh, we have Facebook, Twitter. Google Plus, LinkedIn, MySpace, Foursquare, StumbleUpon, uh, Posturus, uh, VU, Ustream, Livestream, Justin TV, Vital TV, YouTube, Dig, Vimeo, Yahoo Groups, Yelp, Socializer, Flickr, Tumblr, Tumblr uh, Instagram, Picasa, Mix. Hey, hold up a minute while you read that. Hey, Boudreaux, he, he reads that. Bring up that graphic to let people see yeah, some of these yeah, other sites. It's a sort of, of a graphical thing by right. category. Uh, so these are all different categories of uh, what makes up what's called social media. It's not just uh, Facebook. Uh, Mix, Newsvine, eBlog, WordPress, uh, Press, uh, Blog, Friend Feed, Swirl, Jot, Bebo, High Five, Blip TV, Vitter, and uh, Vimeo, or uh, Vital TV. So uh, that's just a short list. There are actually dozens and dozens of right. more. Of course, Facebook's, it's the, uh, the gorilla in the room. Uh, it's the largest and the one that most people yeah uh, we've uh, to. we've actually had people watching the art stream live feed through the Facebook page so that's even you know that's a wonderful thing share it like we talked about at the beginning hey if you're watching this through Facebook be sure to share that let other people know because you know, it's uh, just incredible what's available out there now well I think with with artists I think people who are interested in art who are patrons of the art they have an opportunity now that it's things they've never had in history before. Well, if they can deal directly with the artists like Well, with the marketing end is that you could get feedback from other artists. We've been doing shows for, for years, so now you can actually get feedback from other artists that have done shows. Because you got the, the uh, well, not more so network with the artists, but you'd be able to get those responses that they were doing a show in Chicago. Uh, they got sites that you could go on and these artists would give you the response if it's good or bad. They give their input on if the show was good or bad. Versus investing that kind of money and thinking that uh, back in the day we had certain magazines uh, that I won't call that would give a rating for certain shows. And if you had a rating from 1 to 10 and 10 was the top rating and you book that show thinking it was a 10, once you got there you find out that the show was a zero. Right. So now you would actually get face to face with artists that maybe people that you have done shows with that you know that's credible versus people trying to sell a magazine. So this way you'll know what's what. And with the high cost of shows, uh, social media would cut down a lot of that versus investing that kind of money or not investing. This way you give you something to, to, to work with versus uh, just going there cold. And the thing too, like you're talking about, I found for me, uh, you know, I'm not doing as many shows as I used to. Like you said, they just got so expensive to do. Prices kept going up, fuel costs going up, uh, economic factors. You're trying to figure out how to share your work with people. And I've had people that might have lost track of me at a show where it looks like I'd go up a show in Chicago. But now they're finding me through these networks. Right. So I'm reconnecting with people that, were, or that are patrons. What? So that's, that's a great well, plus so for all, of me and the patron, you know. It's the same way with email. If yeah. I was doing a body of work, what I would do is just go in and do a, uh, a JPEG, a couple of JPEGs or POTS, and just email to that whole group. Yeah. Well, so yeah, and you get that, and you get that, you ought to go get a, and you figure you send out uh, 30, 40 emails to people that you know yeah. that's, that's interested or been collecting your work. You're bound, if you're bound to get two or three hits, and that's, that's worth it. It's not going to cost you any money mm -hmm. other than your, your internet hookup. But, but what I like even more is if you get into the live messaging, 
I could turn on the cam on my on my computer, right. okay. sit right there and show them something yeah. live. I've done that. We can Skype. talk back and forth. Skype, yeah. yeah. Skype is another or type of social text. media. And so it's like instant, you know, like oh, a, it's yeah, a courtesy guy. Skype and a camera, yeah. you can literally have a one-to-one -one conversation yeah. with them and actually show them, you know, slides of what you're doing and, uh, on their screen. And I love the feedback. I mean, I, and I like it with other artists. You know, people go like, you'll do something new. Throw it up. What do you think? Well, boom, we can instantly give you feedback. Right. So, well, the nice thing about what's happened now with, with social media is that everything is now, it's possible to interconnect. Mm -hmm. So you can you can literally connect your email to your Facebook, your Facebook to your website, uh, your website to your streaming video like we're doing, right. back to your Facebook, back to your, it, it's just one big circle. I mean, you can tie it all into to work mm -hmm. together. And a lot of artists there have avoided doing this. Uh, that sort of introduction we had was sort of represented how everything, when you start getting into it, seems very confusing and comes at you here and comes at you there. But if you spend a little time and just sort of poke around, you eventually find how it all works. It's pretty... Mm. Pretty you know, what we go into is a, is a change in time, and uh, well, it's something we can't ignore. Anymore. We can't ignore it. I mean, we went in kicking, and now we just got to come to the group that it's a new world. The young kids, if you want to get a new market, mm -hmm. because we've been out there a long time, because most of our artists, the, the, the market have sort of disappeared in the sense that they they went to the other side, or some of, <laughs> or some yeah. of them went to the nursing home. Yeah. But it's to the point to get a new market, you got to be able to deal with that. And you got to deal with the social network because these kids, have, they grew up with that. Well, I know of two young artists on Facebook, uh, not necessarily necessarily from this area, but uh, I've sort of followed them for a few months. And what they've been able to do with Facebook, what when we started out, it took five years to do or more. Mm -hmm. uh, they end up with I know one person has over 6,000 followers that follow his Facebook postings. Another girl is around 5,000. They, mm -hmm. they, they just literally well, started doing the thing about that with those numbers publicly yeah, less well, than a year ago. The thing with that, I, I look at the numbers too, but you want to look at is uh, how many of those are your peers? If it's, well, if that's it's, true. If, if, if it's other artists looking at your site and you're trying to market your work, you're going to have a problem. Well, see, that's a, that's another point so who's, who's of how you use the the uh, like Facebook is uh, we were talking about that because it's the biggest. There are some do's and don'ts when you're as it's called on Facebook, friending someone. Uh, it's best to have if you're going to use it as, as a promotional for your 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 artwork, then uh, it's best to keep those contacts separate. Even if that's having a separate well, Facebook Well, that's, that's what I do. When I friend, I'm trying to friend somebody that's going to be a collector versus uh, somebody that just want to uh, well, yeah. my work see, somebody spin off of it. Some people do go on there and every time they get a friend request or they see something enter, they friend everybody that they run across. Right. They got 900 so, or 2,000 friends, but they yeah. really don't have any friends. Yeah, so they don't have any contacts. I mean, that's, <laughs> so I mean, that, that's yeah. one of the issues they don't. Numbers. And that's what we're trying to do here with what we've been doing with ArtStream Live through the videos, through the youth streaming, doing the live feed, running through Facebook. We've like to, we've got the Facebook page, you know, for ArtStream Live and Facebook, which is like you're talking about, trying to get people interested in connecting with us. Because like you said, we did art shows for years. We're used to doing one-on-one -on -one with people. They walk in, you got your art, you got them, you got you, and, and you're trying to interact. But that takes physically going to that location. It's getting harder to do. We're trying to use this media to do the same to thing. To fill the gap. Yeah. And we get a real-time advantage. We're not limited now by geography. I don't have to load up a, trip, a truck or a trailer full of art, drive a thousand miles to come see you. We can hook up here. Right. And that's what we've all been trying to do through this. And it's just, uh, that's why we want the feedback. You know, email us, call us on the phone, chat. Uh, right now we're going through Ustream. They've got the chat live on there. They can communicate. So we try to give them all that to, to do like this in that interaction. Right. Because you've got a unique opportunity between artist and patron. You got a question? You want to know about this pottery? Ask the man right there that made it. <laughs> want to know something about David's painting? You saw something in the video? Okay, call him up. Write to him. Email him. Mm -hmm. That's what we're here for.
Well, we're just in a new day, and we just got to work with it. So, will you be our friend? Yeah. That's what we're asking, right? A friend is a, it's a Mr. Rogers day. Well, yeah. Go, go to our Facebook page and See, be our friend. He's a prophet. You know, go to rxtreamlive.com. It's all there, you know. Now, talking about, uh, talking about a friend, don't we have a friend with something special happening today? Oh, yeah. I think we do have uh, someone here that, yeah, it is the oh. 10th of September, isn't it? Is, is that today? September yeah, the 10th? What does that mean? What's that, that mean to you, Charles? Is there an important moment to that day? Somebody go write me out a big check. Oh, yeah, something that's big happen that day? Get <laughs> my checkbook, will you? Now bring yeah. Charles his check here. Yeah, here, here it comes. Oh, here today is a <laughs> day. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Charles. Woo! Right here. Woo! Happy birthday, Charles. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Oh, my All right. My That's what? Right. 29 years old. 29 years old. Another year oh, older. Another year wiser. Woo! All right. All right, crew. Calm down. Calm down. We set the cake on fire. So we just wanted to wish Charles a happy birthday. Thank you. Happy birthday. He's uh, hey, a good man. friend, great artist, and uh, Thank you. we appreciate everybody coming tonight. And... Uh, when Next month, month. Yeah. Blow, blow the, the candles, candles out and we're going to leave. Ready? Ready. All right. Come, on, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Next month, we've got the final segment on the treasure vault of art techniques. Learn the final part of how to make an indirect photo silk screen stencil. And other good stuff. And other good stuff. More new art, more sparkling, dazzling conversation. Tell your Ooh. friends about us. Yeah. The more the merrier. Share, share our our Facebook site with your Facebook friends. Yeah, and uh, go to Ustream. You can watch all these videos. They're archived. If you miss the live, you can always catch it there. And uh, we've got a little special segment at the end. You know, being the tenth of September, we know what tomorrow is. We just want to do a little memory of that. So thank you again for joining us. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.